Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to Sonic Drive-In. They have uh, four items I'm going to be trying. They're, they're getting their garbage emptied, so sorry if it's going to make a loud noise here in just a second. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go over here and i got to wait for the truck to move out of the way. Anyway, I, uh, I ordered on the app and I didn't I didn't realize I hadn't selected. I evidently just selected pickup, a curbside or whatever. I didn't realize I did not pick drive-through. So um, yeah, there's the truck. Um, so anyway, I'm going to pull into one of these like little um, stalls and check in and then I'll record um, once I do that. I think all they're going to do is just bring it out to me anyway. So anyway, uh, I'll be right back um, once I've checked in. Hey, that was pretty easy. Let me turn the my heat down. Um, it's pretty easy. I, you pull into a stall. It's got a stall number at the, it says uh, Crimson is headed your way with your order. Um, so you, um, you check, you hit the button that says check in. And at the very bottom, it's got like a TV screen in each little pickup area. And um, it has a stall number and a stall number, um, mine was nine. So it said enter your stall number and you uh, you enter the number nine and you hit continue or confirm or something like that. And um, it said on the screen that they were heading this way with my order. So that's pretty easy. So uh, pretty straightforward, but not hard at all. And then that went away and now it's back onto the push the bed red button to start your order. So I'm assuming that someone will come out here at some point in time with my food. <laughs> I'm hoping I'll be able to see them in the door, in the camera, and be able to see uh, when they're coming. So anyway, I ordered while I'm waiting. While I'm waiting, I, I, they've got some new pulled pork items and they have a new shake. So I ordered the pulled pork barbecue cheeseburger, uh, which is a cheeseburger with pulled pork on. I'll, I'll describe them here in just a minute. The pulled pork barbecue sandwich, which doesn't have the cheeseburger, it's just the pulled pork. Uh, the pulled pork barbecue tachos, so it's like uh, um, tater tots with pulled pork on top of them. And then the the shake is a chocolate covered strawberry shake. I'm assuming it's for Valentine's Day. Um, so that is what I ordered. The uh, And they'll give me my total. I think it was 21 something. Hopefully they'll give me a receipt. If not, I'll look on my phone and write it down. So anyway, um, yeah, just going to wait for them to come out. And here comes somebody with something right now. I see them through my camera. Yep. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Okay pretty easy and straight, but I'm gonna go somewhere else and actually eat them. I could sit here and eat, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm gonna go find a parking place and park somewhere um, out of the way. That way I'm not taking up one of their stalls. And I'm recording everything too, so people think I'm crazy because I'm sitting here talking to my car with the camera on. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go park in a parking lot that's right across from Sonic, basically where I started the introduction at. I'm gonna pull over there and um, yeah, eat. I don't know what was, is that the tater tots that was in the, the aluminum thing? It's actually a little, yeah, it's the tater tots. They could have put it in a bag, it would have been nice. Um, so anyway, I will be right back. Okay, I have to hold it way up here. So um, here is the just the barbecue sandwich. You can see it's kind of, yeah, their portion size, I've noticed that about Sonic, their portion sizes are not or not huge. That one looks better, the one with the burger on it. I'll get that back on there before I eat it. And there's the, the tots, the barbecue tots. And here is the chocolate covered shake. Um, it looks like it's just white um, ice cream and a little bit, a little bit of a whipped cream, like a chocolate whipped cream swirl uh, topping on there, or like a whipped topping. Um, you do get a cherry on there and it looks like there's some cherry i mean uh, strawberry and chocolate shavings in there i don't know we'll try it out so anyway they did give me a straw they gave me a fork for the tots which is a good thing it was in that little silver tray i mean the silver bag had a this tray in there and a, and a piece of uh of plastic silverware and um, then the two burgers are wrapped separately of course i just put them all on one wrapper so anyway i'm gonna get this uh camera turned around and i'll tell you prices and describe everything Okay, so let me describe everything. They did give me a receipt, by the way. Um, I wasn't sure if they would. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's, 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 some places are weird. Yeah, they gave me a receipt. So the pulled pork barbecue cheeseburger was $6.29 at 700 calories, if you care. Um, it's 100% pure beef patty topped with a smoked pulled pork, cherry, smoked pulled pork, cherry wood smoked sauce, 
I'm gonna spit on myself. Crinkle cut pickles and melty American cheese layered between a toasted brioche bun. Oh yeah, there's cheese on there, okay. Um, the pulled pork barbecue sandwich is $3.99, so it is a lot cheaper. Uh, what, $2.30, something like that, $2.40? The two two thirty. Um, it is smoked pulled pork smothered in cherry wood smoked sauce and topped with a crinkle cut pickle, cut with, topped with crinkle cut pickles between a uh, toasted brioche bun. Uh, yeah, there are some pickles on there. Um, I do think the portion size on the barbecue sandwich is much smaller than the cheeseburger, but it is $2 less. So, so take that as it is. Um, the pulled pork barbecue tachos, it's getting cold in here, I'm gonna turn my heat up. Um, the tachos for $4.99, they're 580 calories. The pulled pork was 350 calories, by the way. The tachos are 580 calories, which is almost as, not, not quite as much, but getting closer to the cheeseburger area. And it's crispy golden tots layered with smoked pulled pork, cherrywood smoked sauce, zesty cheese sauce, yeah, a little bit on there, and melty cheddar cheese. I see a little bit of cheese, not a lot, but there's some on there. And then the chocolate covered strawberry shake was $4.99. I got a small, it was 600, it's 610 calories. It's real strawberries and rich chocolate flakes hand mixed into sweet vanilla soft serve and topped with a decadent a chocolate whipped topping, more chocolate flakes and a cherry on top. So um, yeah, I mean the, the chocolate whipped topping, you don't look like you get a lot of that, but it, it's there, whatever. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try the, tot, the tots first. I did notice that in all of their descriptions, it kept describing it as a, um, a um, what was it, a smoky um, cherry with smoke sauce, not a barbecue sauce. I wonder if they do that on purpose. I'm gonna try just the pulled pork by itself. Mm. It actually has a really good flavor, and it has a good um, a good texture to it too. That um, and the sauce has got a little. It's not really hot, but it does have a little, a little zip to it, a little zine. So here we go. Hmm. I like the pulled pork with the tater tots. It has a really good flavor to it. Um, the potato just adds a an extra crispy layer to it, and you get the the potatoey taste, and the um, and the pulled pork and that that sauce is really nice. Oh yeah, when you get down in there, there's quite a bit more cheese. Hold on. You see all that cheese? There's, there's tots in there too, but there's a lot of cheese there as well. Some of the tater tots on the bottom are not crispy. So the ones on the edge are really, really crispy. The ones on the, on the kind of in the middle on the bottom, they've lost some of their crispiness. That's really good. I like anything. I like I like potatoes in general. So adding pulled pork on top of potatoes is not a bad thing at all. I really do like that. That's a um, a really good combination of the cheese and the sauce and the, the pulled pork and the tater tots. That is really 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 good. Um, I would get that anytime. I would literally eat two of those just for lunch by themselves. Um, which, what did I say they were? I think I said they were pretty high in calories. 580 calories for $5. Um, so that for 10 bucks, you could buy, you could get two of those, but you'd be over a thousand calories. So just to let you know. So those are good. I would give those probably, um, I wish the, the tater tots were a little crispier on the bottom. So I'm gonna give them a four and a half out of five because if the, all the tater tots are really good and crispy like that, um, I would have given them a five, but since some of them are a little mushy, your your mileage is going to vary. You know, your your location is going to be different than mine, I'm sure. But uh, for me, I think it's a four and a half out of five. So now I'm going to try the this the barbecue sandwich, and it looks like they had quite a bit of sauce on there. They didn't put the pickles in a very even. They're all like piled on one side, but that's somebody in a hurry making your food. Okay. Very thin. 
tell you what, those pickles are um, are thin. I mean, are very crispy. They're very strong though. I'm assuming it's the, I'm trying to see which one. There's something spicy in there. And I think it is the sauce. Let me try a pickle. No, the pickles are just a pickle. Yeah, there's something in there that's got a little spice to it. It's not like, like it's not like burn your mouth or anything, but you just get that little bit of tingle in the back of your throat. And it has to be the sauce. Let me see, hold on. Can't really get a lot of it to, to taste by itself. Yeah, it's got a little kick in the back of your throat, just, just a little bit. Um, kind of like a, well, it's like a, spi a spicy barbecue sauce. One thing I do like about this sauce though, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's mostly seasoned. So it's smoky and they're not calling it barbecue sauce again, but um, it's very smoky. It does have that good smoky flavor and it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's mostly that, that seasonings, the, like the spices in there that are really kicking in. And like I said, you get a little burn in the back of your throat. It's uh, it's not as hot as like Grippo's potato chips or um, you know, Framin' Hot. It's nothing like that. It's not even as hot as like most jalapeno chips or anything. It's just a, it's just a little bit of kick. I'm trying to think of what I would compare it to. It's not as hot as like a buffalo. Um, I've had zesty pickles that were hotter than this. So it's it's, I don't know. It's it's like maybe just something you put a good amount of salt and pepper on. Maybe you just put um, a decent amount of pepper on. That's kind of a tingle you get in the back of your throat. Not bad at all. sauce hmm. yeah and I love the smoke in there that's good I think it's a little small it is four dollars for that for that fairly small sandwich so uh, it has a lot of flavor to it though I really do like the flavor I think they give you um, quite a bit of sauce and, and enough pulled pork to make it feel like you're getting something meaty like a meaty sandwich and like I said, that um, that sauce is that definitely, definitely has a little bit of tingle and a little of the zip to it. Let me take a drink real quick. I'm going to try the burger next. The reason I wanted to get both is I wanted to see, first of all, um, does, the murder, does the burger make really any difference at all? Like, is it really going to... Are you going to tell that it's a, on a burger or is it just going to kind of all taste the same? So uh, that's what I wanted to see. So here is the burger. I do like the pulled pork. It's very tender. Um, it reminds you of, I'm just going to be honest with you. You can go to Walmart and other places to sell them too. The little packages of the microwave pulled pork in the packages. Some of them are frozen. Some of them are just in the refrigerated section. Um, you can buy those and stick them in the microwave and microwave them. They're really, really good. This kind of has that same uh, flavor and the same texture as those, which I love those. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's what this kind of reminds you of. So if you've ever had any of those, you kind of know where this is coming from. Um, I guess I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try right there. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger of a bite. The pork keeps falling off. Hmm. Okay. It feels like I'm wearing a lot of it. I can say that you definitely taste the burger. So you've not only got this the sauce coming through with that spice and a little bit of sweetness and smokiness. Um, you've got the pulled pork, which is adding a little bit of flavor and texture to it. Mostly texture, you really don't, well, I'm gonna take that back. You really do taste that that pork, you do. Um, and then you get the, the grilled beef patty that has that really good grilled hamburger flavor. Um, they could have left the cheese off. The cheese doesn't make any difference at all. I don't taste the cheese in the least bit. Everything else I taste, even the pickles, when I got a bite of pickle just now, you can taste it. 
what would have really, I would have liked to have seen, leave the cheese off and put those uh, crispy onions on there. That would have made this like perfect. Um, it, it would have been spot on if they'd done that. A little bit of onion flavor along and crispiness along with the burger and the pulled pork. I think it's really, really good. Um, I like that quite a bit. So for me, if it's not about the money, sorry, I got to pull a piece of pork in my teeth. If it's not about the money or calories or anything like that, you're just wanting to go flavor, go with the burger because it adds another layer of flavor to that. Because not only are you getting just the barbecue pork and the sauce and everything, you're also adding that layer of that grilled hamburger flavor. It's just it's so, so good. Um, so I would give the barbecue, but they're really good. Both of them are excellent. The barbecue sandwich by itself, I would give a four because it is just, it's just pulled pork, uh, but it's really, really good. The burger, I would add just another half to it and give it a four and a half. And like I said, if they switched out that cheese and put crispy onions on there, or even left the cheese and added the crispy onions to it, I think that onion flavor would have been like a really, really, really made it perfect. So, so the tots were a four and a half. The burger, pulled pork burger is a four and a half for me. And the sandwich, honestly, it would be a four and a half as well. I just don't think it's as good as the burger. So I have to drop it down a, a notch to make it a little bit less than the burger because it's just a little bit more plain than the burger. So all these are really, really good. Sonic is one of these places, you know, um, I've been surprised by them. Sometimes they... I just gotta be honest with you. Sometimes they suck. Sometimes they just are, they don't deliver on the flavor. They don't put enough of something on there where you don't taste it. Um, you know, like their peanut butter thing. They didn't put enough peanut butter on there to even taste it. So I mean, it was kind of useless. And they've had other things like that too that it's like they've really missed the mark on. I think they did a really good job on these, on all three of these items. I think they're, they're spot on. They're really, really good. Okay, so let me try the milkshake. And I'm not really going to be able to taste, of course, the Cool Whip. And so I guess if I got in here and scooped it up. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get just some of that whipped topping. Oh, the whipped topping actually does taste like chocolate. That's cool. And I got the strawberry from the shake as well. I like that. Um, I think it's really good. I think it's a really nice strawberry shake with a little bit of chocolate flavor in there. Occasionally, you'll get a little fleck of uh, chocolate, just a small piece. Yeah, they're really, really small. This would be better if you ate it with a spoon, to be honest with you. Um, the, the straw is fine, but you've got bigger hunks of chocolate that are going to clog up you can see one right there. It's going to clog up your straw. I do like this, though. I think if you like um, a very natural strawberry flavor with a with a nice vanilla sweetness. It'll give you a brain aneurysm trying to um, suck a milkshake through a straw. I like that. It could use a little bit more strawberry, honestly. I mean, I get the strawberry like here and there. It's like in little pieces. So the strawberry flavor, they needed to put a drop of, of some kind of strawberry, like um, I don't know, flavoring of some kind of uh, topping or something. They needed to put a drop or two, a little squirt of that in there when they mix it up. And that would have made the whole thing taste like strawberry. Instead, you're just getting, um, you're only getting the strawberry flavor when you actually get a piece of strawberry sucked up through your straw um so you're missing out on the strawberry flavor for probably half of it at least um you're not getting the strawberry flavor because you're just getting the vanilla soft serve and then you get a strawberry through the straw and you're like oh that's strawberry forgot it was strawberry i've been just tasting vanilla and then you get those little pieces of chocolate here and there as well that's what i'm saying i think if you eat it with a spoon i think you'll like it a lot better because not only are you trying to 
I'm not trying to fight to get through the stupid straw, but uh, I think you're gonna get even more even bites of the flavor. So um, it's good. It's it's not a bad milkshake. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do like it. It's it's still a good milkshake. I think a, pretty much any milkshake is a good milkshake. Um, I mean, there's some sad ones out there that don't quite deliver on the flavor. This one's good. It could be better, but but it's good. I almost wish, like I said, they put some kind of flavoring in there to make the, the whole milkshake strawberry. And then they had um, this little pops of chocolate come through when you're drinking it through the straw. That way you would 90% of the time you'd be getting strawberry by itself and you get these little pops of chocolate. I think that would have been really good, but it's what it is. Um, it's still four out of five. So overall, everything here is really good. If you have a Sonic in your area and you haven't tried out their barbecue and you like barbecue pork and you like just a little bit of spice, not hot, but a little bit of spice, I think you'll really enjoy it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.